Wow, <laughs> the lighting on this side is so harsh. <laughs> Just get what you get when you make these videos. Hi everybody, welcome to this video. If you're new, my name is Stephanie and this is what I like to call fast food chats. For the people that are new to the channel, Fast Food Chats is a series where we get in the car, go to the drive-thru, order some food, and just talk about whatever we want to talk about. It could be anything. It could be Taylor Swift. It could be being Depresso Espresso. It could be so many things. Today we're going to a restaurant that just opened in Orlando. It's called Fat Burger. I think they've been open for a couple of months at this point, but it's gonna be my first time going. I'm very, very excited to try a new restaurant. It's all the way in celebration though, so it's gonna be a little bit of a drive before we get there. So I will see you when we get there. Okay, we're almost there. Side note, I just had my oil changed. It feels like I'm driving a new car. Okay, Siri. Okay, I don't know if there's a drive-through, so I might have to go inside, although I don't see it. There's so much stuff here. This plaza is new, I've never seen it before. Okay, I see it, I can't tell. Destination is on the right. Thank you, Siri. Why are we riding bikes in the middle of the road like this? Come on, guys. Okay, there's a drive through. Yes! <laughs> I don't think you guys understand how much I hate going inside the restaurants. <laughs> I have anxiety. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Can I please have the original fat burger? Thank you. 1289, that's not that bad. Considering if you go to Five Guys, it's like almost $20. Does anyone else have this wallet? I bought it on TikTok and I like it a lot. My blue ID. It has a window ID pocket in the back, which was the main reason I bought it. And then look at all this, look at all the things I have inside. <laughs> this little wallet is awesome. Noticing that a lot of tick a lot of of the stores on TikTok Shop are selling the same wallet for like 20 bucks. I bought this at the Rainbow Boutique on TikTok Shop for $12 and she has all of the colors and the best price. I feel like the longer it takes for them to get the food out, the more delicious it is. I'm really starting to notice that a lot of the the fast food places are now starting to have like a full-size door instead of like just a window at the drive-thru. Here, let me show you. Do you see how it's like a whole door? I'm starting to notice that at a lot of drive-thru places now and I kind of, I, I, it makes sense. Have a nice day. She was really nice. I liked her a lot. Uh, the bag has been secured and now we have to find a parking spot with shade. And I'll be real honest, besties, I don't know if that's gonna happen today because there's like hardly any shade in this parking lot. There aren't that many trees and like the trees are little. They're all like little. I guess I'll park by like all these tall trees, even though there's absolutely no shade. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is really nice. It was wrapped and then it's wrapped like this. 10 out of 10 so far. And they have Pepsi instead of Coke. It looks really good. Oh my God. This is really good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be so good. These are the fries. So they have the option of skinny fries and they call these fat fries. I got the fat ones. They're really good. They don't have a dipping sauce, which I wish they had, but whatever, it's fine. The fries are good on their own. Dude, this is the first burger place I've been to where they offer a wheat bun. It's so, so good. Oh my God. It's a little greasier than I would like, 
but it's still really good. One thing I noticed on their menu is that they have the option to put two patties, and I th I think I saw an option for a, a, a three patty burger. That's way too much food. I could never. So what's new with you guys? <laughs> That's always my segue from trying the food to like just chatting. <laughs> Has anything new, fun, and exciting happened to you guys? Put it in the comments. Tell me. I love reading your comments. Even the ones that are not nice. <laughs> the video where I went to McDonald's did really well. In fact, it did so well that people decided to be really fat phobic in the comments. The comments were bad enough that YouTube removed them, I think, because I can't see them. I can't see them. But other people's comments were talking about people being really rude and hateful. And here's my thing. If you're gonna be that pressed about me eating a chicken sandwich in my car, that says more about you than it does about me. It also just screams insecurity. Am I right? Pretty sure I'm right. And that's fine, you're allowed to be insecure. We all are. But it's not an excuse to terrorize other people. No. Also, you don't know what my life is like outside of these videos. You see 10 minutes of my life, 10 minutes. You see me eating a cheeseburger and french fries with a soda. That doesn't mean this is what I eat every single day. I eat this for the videos. This is not my everyday life, it's not. And even then, you guys don't know anything about me. I could have a health condition that makes it really hard to, to lose weight, but really easy to gain weight. The hate comments don't really bother me so much anymore. I guess I just don't understand how you could be so hateful that you would leave a hate comment on someone's video because I don't do that. If someone's making something that I don't like or if I dislike the person, I just keep scrolling and I move on to the next thing. I don't, I don't leave hate comments. Okay, my phone overheated and I have you guys somewhere else. I have you guys a little bit lower. So here's the rest of the burger. I want you guys to know that as soon as my phone overheated, I immediately went on Amazon and bought like a thing for my car. We'll just have to use those whenever I make one of these videos. I think it's called a car shield. I don't want to deal with this every single time I make one of these videos. And it's only April and it's going to get hotter. It's going to get so hot. But we are committed to this series. So this one awkward video is okay. Okay, last couple of bites. There's another new restaurant in Orlando called Slim Chickens. I've heard mixed reviews about them, but I still want to go because it's a new restaurant. We have to try it. That's the rule in this channel. Whenever there's a new restaurant in Orlando, we go. For all the trees that they have back here, you would think that there would be more shade because I'm parked in front of like a whole thing of trees and there's no shade, like none. Honestly, the car next to me, they have a car shield on their windshield. That's how hot it is. Sorry for how anticlimactic this video is. Wasn't very exciting. We just went to a new burger place and my phone overheated and the angle's different now and it's weird and I don't like it, but we're still trying because I love you guys and there are more and more of you every single week. I love that. This is a little tidbit of the patty. Look how good it looks. I have all these fries left. I kind of wish there was a dipping sauce. There's not. I feel like this would be really good with like a cheese sauce or like a ranch or something. I'm adding this to the list of restaurants that I'm bringing my best friend to next time she comes down. So far it's Chick-fil-A, because she's never been. They don't have Chick-fil-A where she lives, so I have to take her. Burger Fi, Zaxby's, although I don't know why. I don't think they're that good. I said what I said. I'm sorry, I keep looking over here because I'm used to the camera being over here, but right now it's over here. Okay, how's it going? They're slowly adding all the restaurants that we have down here up there. When I moved to Florida as a teenager, there were all these new restaurants that just didn't exist up north. We didn't have Firehouse or Five Guys. We didn't have like Panda Express up north. We didn't have any of that. They don't have Chick-fil-A up north, as I just said. When I moved down here, 
all my friends were inviting me to these like new places that I had never been to before. I didn't like going to new places when I was a kid. It scared me. I was afraid that I wouldn't like the food. Now I go everywhere and honestly, these videos give me an opportunity to go out of my comfort zone and go to new places that I've never been to before. I'm in celebration right now. I wouldn't normally come here on my own. I wouldn't. And I especially wouldn't do it by myself. If I didn't make these videos, I think I would wait for a friend to like come with me. And even then, that's hard to do because I only have like three friends. I'm starting to get full. I think of my list of places that I'm taking my friend to in Florida. <laughs> I think it's only two places. Chick-fil-A, Fat Burger. Do they have Panda Express up north? Somebody tell me in the comments. Or better yet, Kathy, do they have Panda Express up north where you are? Because I don't know. I feel like you told me yes, but I don't remember. I really like want to travel at some point for the series. I want to go to In-N-Out. I want to go to Jack in the Box. I want to try Jollibee. I don't even know where, where we have Jollibee. Do we have Jollibee in America? There's a channel that I watch on YouTube called N-E-A-S-M-R. If you're into like food content, I highly recommend her channel. She made a video where she was eating Jollibee with her husband and her son. I have no idea where they are. No idea. Don't know if they're in America or somewhere else. But wherever Jollibee is, I want to go and I want to try it. Because it looked so good. Like, I think one of them had ordered, like, chicken strips or something. And then her son, he had noodles, pasta, all from Jollibee. If you have a Jollibee where you live, please tell me in the comments. Tell me where you are. And then tell me if there's a Jollibee anywhere in America, because I have no idea. It looks really good, and I want to try it. Okay, I'm full. <laughs> I cannot eat any more food. My nose is starting to get runny. All right, this is where I'm going to end the video. If you guys made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I'm loving that there are more of you on my channel every single week. It makes me so happy. There's so many things that you could be doing right now, and the fact that you're choosing to watch me eat a cheeseburger just makes me so happy. <laughs> thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!